Doping. The use of performance-enhancing drugs is always a hot topic in the world of sports. But how do these substances increase muscle mass? And what are their side effects? Ciao ragazzi, this video was written and filmed in Italian by our team of scientists, storytellers and video makers. We are Italians. It was manually translated into English, but dubbed with artificial intelligence. Long live culture and let's go back to the video. All right guys, today we're going to have a look at what performance drugs are from a biochemical point of view and how they were discovered. Let's start by saying that, from a biochemical perspective, performance-enhancing drugs are anabolic androgenic steroids. In a nutshell, they're substances that are very similar to testosterone, which, besides bulking up muscles, in fact, anabolic comes from the Greek anabalein, which means growth. They also masculinize, meaning they help develop male traits like body or facial hair or a deep voice. However, steroids are very different from protein powders, creatine, and synthol. In fact, protein powders are indeed legitimate foodstuffs, meaning they're real proteins that have been extracted from things like milk, while creatine is a molecule that occurs naturally in our bodies, and synthol is a mix of oil, a painkiller, and alcohol that is injected directly into muscles to inflate them, not to actually make them grow. So, they're totally different things. Today, we're going to focus on anabolic androgenic steroids, which, as mentioned before, mimic testosterone. That's why they're not just used in the world of doping, but also in the medical field, to treat specific conditions, such as hypogonadism, when little or no testosterone is produced, for addressing some forms of muscle wasting, or even to treat certain types of breast cancer. In the world of sports, and especially in the world of bodybuilding though, they're taken in massive doses. We're talking concentration levels that are up to 200 times higher than what naturally occurs in our bodies. This promotes both muscle growth and muscle definition, which means how well we can see the details of the muscles. Yes, but how do these substances make muscles grow? I mean, you inject a steroid and the muscle grows. How is that possible? Well, it's a very complex process from a biochemical standpoint, but to put it simply, it's like these substances are telling your body to, brick by brick, start building muscle proteins, and the bricks they use are amino acids. So, it's as if it's an artificial growth driven by external substances, and consequently, there are side effects. And to try to minimize the side effects of these substances, bodybuilders usually take steroids in three different ways. And let's get this straight right away. What they're doing is illegal. The first way is by doing what are called cycles. So you take the steroids for a certain period of time, then you briefly take a break from using them, let's say, before starting up again. The second method is what's called stacking, which means taking more than one type of anabolic steroid at a time. The third method, on the other hand, is called pyramiding. So you start with a low dose of one steroid and then gradually increase the amount you're taking until you reach the maximum dosage. After that, you stop taking them for a while so your body can have a break, and then you start the cycle all over again. So let's say it's like the first way, but you're increasing the dosage as you go. According to bodybuilders who use steroids, these methods help minimize the side effects. Actually, there's no scientific proof of this, and taking anabolic steroids could cause significant harm to your body, no matter how you use them. Now, before we actually delve into the side effects, and trust me, there's a lot of them, I'd like to talk a little about the history of steroids, because they were discovered in a pretty fascinating way. The story of steroids began a long time ago. The ancient Greeks were even using extracts from animal testicles as supposed medicinal remedies to boost physical performance. And the Greeks weren't the only ones to experiment with these extracts. If you can believe it, the 72-year-old physiologist and neurologist charles Edouard brown Sequard, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, sorry, back in 1889 hoped to turn back the clock for old dogs by injecting them with extracts from guinea pig testicles. So, a particular kind of experiment, you could say. Anyway, since he didn't get great results with the dogs, what did this crazy guy do? He prepared six doses of guinea pig and dog testicle extracts and injected himself. And what was the result? he felt much stronger and much more resilient. If before he couldn't stand for more than half an hour or climb stairs, after those shots he was able to work for more than three hours without a break, work after dinner, and use the stairs. And he detailed these amazing results in a scientific paper that was clearly read with interest all around the world in the coming decades. 
But in 2002, scientists had another look at his research and actually discovered that the amount of testosterone in the dog and guinea pig testicle extract he used was so small that it could not have produced any kind of biological effect. So guys, it was actually all down to a placebo effect. In fact, this is considered one of the most renowned examples in history of the placebo effect. What should he have done? Besides injecting himself, he should have carried out a clinical study in which he performed the same treatment on a large number of people and really established if his assertions made sense. He didn't do that, and sure enough, his theory was debunked. His reasoning and intuition weren't totally wrong, though, because testicles do indeed contain steroids. In fact, numerous later studies set out to identify what substances testicles produced. Back in 1935, two chemists, a German and a Dutchman, managed to isolate and describe testosterone for the first time. The steroid is indeed present in our bodies, especially in the testicles, and it's from this, the fact that it's found in the testicles, that we get the name testosterone. From there, all sorts of substances that were similar to testosterone were produced in laboratories in an effort to establish what their effects were, and starting in the 1950s, they began to be used to improve the performance of athletes in a wide range of sports. But nowadays, using any kind of steroid, unless you've got a specific medical condition, is illegal and considered doping. In fact, Trenbolone, along with testosterone and a large number of other anabolic steroids, can be found on the list of prohibited substances compiled by WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency. All right, we've seen how they work and what their history is, but we also know very well that taking performance-enhancing drugs can cause a slew of side effects. The main side effects can be physiological, affecting your body, or psychological, having a negative impact on your mind. On a physiological level, acne is a very common side effect, especially on a steroid user's shoulders, back, and chest. Then other effects obviously depend on the type of steroid used. For instance, those produced from the modification of the carbon-17 in testosterone, like Trenbolone, can affect the liver, so we're talking liver damage here, and how bad it is depends on how much you've been taking. The more Trenbolone you take, obviously, the worse it is for your liver, and it can even lead to liver cancer. Generally speaking, though, steroid use can potentially lead to higher blood pressure, interfere with your heart's normal functioning, consequently increasing your risk of a heart attack, and disrupt your body's normal hormone balance. In fact, when you're on steroids, your body stops making its own natural steroids, so we can say that endogenous production decreases. And this translates into a significant reduction in testicle volume, a drop in sperm production, with a corresponding sperm count decrease of up to 90%, and it could even lead to impotence, meaning an inability to retain an erection. Also, the prostate might increase in size, so we're talking about an enlarged prostate here, which means there's a higher risk of cancer. And finally, males can start exhibiting female characteristics like gynecomastia, which is basically when males develop breasts. In women, one of the first signs of steroid use is the masculinization of the voice, meaning that the voice gets notably deeper, along with hirsutism, which is the excessive growth of body hair. They might also experience irregular menstrual cycles, or in more severe cases, the complete absence of menstruation, and potentially even endometrial bleeding, an abnormal loss of blood involving the mucosal lining of the uterine wall. In contrast to what happens in men, a woman's breasts may become smaller, so they may atrophy, and at the same time, the clitoris might increase in size. And lastly, another side effect that may affect both males and females alike is infertility, which means an inability to have children. On a psychological level, so regarding the mind, steroids could lead to an increase in how aggressive a person is. This increased aggressiveness is sometimes the desired outcome, especially when steroids are used as performance enhancers in sports. Someone using these substances might initially feel a sense of euphoria, similar to what you might typically get from amphetamines. In fact, with the long-term use of steroids, a full-blown addiction may develop and that initial euphoric high could be replaced by uncontrollable rage and psychosis. In short, anabolic androgenic steroids are substances that, if taken solely to increase muscle size and strength, could lead to a number of side effects, and these may be serious. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video and that it's a bit clearer now how anabolic androgenic steroids work and how they shouldn't be confused with protein powders, creatine and things like that. Guys, as always, see you again soon here on Geopop Everyday Science. Hasta la próxima.